So it is 2.16 and I'm officially on my way to get some tattoo removal. I am nervous. <laughs> I've gotten this done so many times, but seriously, every time I get like anxiety because it is kind of painful and it's not easy. So yeah, I'm gonna drive there and then after I'm done, we'll give you guys an update. Here's my chest and then um, I'm doing my arm as well. So yeah, afterwards I'll show you guys what it looks like. So I'll see you later. Okay, so I just got here and it is 2.40. My appointment's at three o'clock and I'm not as nervous, but at the same time, like, I know it's gonna hurt. <laughs> Even though it's probably only gonna be like maybe five to 10 minutes, I still like, I don't know. I just get so nervous, <laughs> so yeah. It is pain. I'm just like more worried about like the after, you know, because number one, I have to drive home and I usually have Carlos with me, so he usually drives me, but he's trucking, so it's just me and then Walter's with the babysitter. Um, but yeah, so a little nervous. I think I'm gonna do like four tattoos today, so it's a bit much, but I mean, I want them done, so. Here I go, yeah. I'll let you know how it goes and um, yeah, show you the progress update. I'm gonna like give you like a quick view of what it looks like shortly after like when I get back to the car and then um, I'll show you guys when I get home. So wish me luck cause I'm gonna like use my um, breathing skills from Lamaze, you know. I've had a kid, so this isn't really that much, but oh, I'm so nervous. Here I go. Wish me luck. Bye. <laughs> okay, so it is 3.01 and it definitely did not take that long, but I did not do all four tattoos as planned. Okay, so here's my chest. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, so it's definitely, I mean, I'm like thinking this one will be like pretty close to being gone after. And then if you can see here, I got that one done. And that one wasn't too bad, but when it got to the very bottom, like closer to my hand, that's what really hurt. And then let me switch hands here and see if I can do this. And then I got this one done too. I don't know if you can see it all that clear, but yeah, so much pain. As you can see, it's swollen, it's red, and it's kind of white actually because that's the pigment burning or like exploding whatever you want to call it. I really don't know. Like, I mean, I kind of know the science behind it, but I'm not the expert. That's why I go see somebody. Um, yeah, if you guys want a recommendation, um, I can probably, you know, get you that information if you send me an email. But yeah, tattoo removal, super fast kind of painful it gets I'd say more painful the more you do it because like obviously um there's gonna be like more scar tissue so yeah that lighting is horrible there you go anyways hmm Ugh, so painful. not too bad though I was gonna do this one. Oh my gosh sorry I was gonna do this whole piece right here. Um, the lighting in here is just garbage. But 
not today. I don't think I can handle it. I still have to like take care of my son and Carlos is not home right now. So it's just me and him and I'll just have to like do that all by myself in pain, healing. I'll be having like ice packs on practically all day, you know. That's how you reduce the swelling and whatnot. But other than that, there's not really much you can do. Drink a lot of water and uh, uh, just get through the pain. <laughs> yeah. But I'm excited. I'm definitely looking forward to not having these tattoos. Um, I'm looking forward to the future and what could possibly be there instead. So that's always nice. But yay. I'll probably update you guys a little bit more after I get settled and um, let you know how it goes because I'm a little worried about like Walter like trying to like touch my arms or like you know he's obviously going to take notice to what's there so hopefully if I just tell him that mommy has an owie or ouch he'll like understand that and not want to um like touch my chest or my arm so uh, I'm really hoping but Carlos will be home t tomorrow so that'll be like a huge help He's always like really good at helping me out and being there so that's always nice but mm, yeah I will see you guys in a little while later on tonight I'm probably gonna like maybe I'll have dinner or something let this stuff like chill out because it is so red like oh look at that wow I'm sure you could like see super close up hey so yeah, that used to be a sacred heart, but now, I mean, it's almost gone. Yay. And then this one too. That one's obviously darker, but it has lightened up dramatically. Like I'm gonna have to show you guys the before, the middle, and like just this previous session, like the pictures and stuff of everything that I've been getting worked on because it really is amazing how you can remove tattoos. And like, I definitely recommend it to anybody that either wants to get a cover up in the future or just wants to remove the tattoo. Like, it is so worth it. I mean, yeah, it's painful. It doesn't really last that long, a couple of days, but overall, totally worth it. So, yeah. I'll see you later. Hey you guys, so it is around 6 p.m. Walter just got to bed a little early because he skipped his nap. He typically doesn't have a babysitter that often, so today was kind of like different for him, I guess. So he kind of like skipped his nap and now he's sleeping. Kind of good, but not really because the potential of him waking up is higher. So anyways, here's an update. Um, here, I'll come a little bit closer. This time, it actually is like a little bit more blistery than I had expected. But I'm not really too worried about it because... I mean, I've had it like this before, and even though there were like some blisters, they didn't like pop or anything, and the swelling went down, and before long, my skin um, started shedding. Kind of like how a tattoo sheds when you get tattoo removal, that ink, the excess ink is also going to shed off your skin. and new skin is gonna grow in place of that. So, there's this one. Um, not too bad. I'm pretty happy because I did 
want it to be a little more intense as far as like the pain level is right now it's really not that bad um i actually hardly even iced it to be honest with you just been drinking a lot of fluids and here i'll show you my wrist um now that one you can already see like some of the fading in the lines um it is a little swollen as you can see there is a bump <laughs> because that one was pretty swollen that one actually hurt pretty bad um when it was getting done but I don't even think it was as high of an intensity as I had on this one. Because when you get it done, like for certain colors or how many times you've had treatments in the past, all determines on like the intensity that the laser removal is going to be done at. And this one, I'm pretty sure this has been like my fifth um removal session possibly my sixth i'm not quite sure i mean i've gone through this so many times i guess it just kind of like you just get it all mixed up eventually but after my video i'm going to be showing you my before and afters the first one i'm going to show you is of my chest and i'm going to show you the before and then the after and the after is actually like two sessions ago. So it has faded dramatically from that after picture. I just don't have any like recent ones. And I probably should have took it before I got this done, but I didn't. So you're just gonna have to wait for my next session. And in my next session, I am going to be doing this piece here. And this has already been um, lasered one session i was hoping to do one today but i just think it would uh put me overboard and so then this one here you can see is um it's not too swollen i mean it's a little raised but it is certainly um you know not too bad it was a lot more painful, like, right after I got it done. Um, and everything went pretty good as far as, like, being able to take care of Walter and hold him. And he even, like, touched, like, some areas that I had the removal done in. And it wasn't as big of a deal as I had expected it to be. Um because you know sometimes kids they can they don't know like what they're really doing or if they're hurting you i don't think they really understand that yet um at least at his age he's not even two years old yet so he doesn't really quite understand that yet but that all went good um it feels pretty good right now and in the second set of photos I will show you um, this tattoo before and after. So this one, this is the third session that I had done. So there's the original photo, a photo after removal, and then now this removal. And then, um, yeah, I have a big piece on my thigh as well that I've had a session on. And the next, Probably the next tattoo removal I do get, I'm probably going to do this one and my thigh at the same time. Um, my thigh, though, the thigh tattoo is pretty big. So um, it hurts more, I think, because it's a bigger area to cover. But I think I can handle it. So <laughs> I just want to get them done, and that's what's important to me because I want to get new tattoos and that takes time as well and planning and getting things done so yeah anyways so that's basically my day I got some tattoo removal done and 
you know, it's a little bit of progress to the bigger picture and I hope it sheds a little bit more light on the process and what you can expect out of getting tattoo removal. And like I said before, if anybody is even like thinking of a cover up, I definitely would recommend getting um, tattoo removal done first and foremost because it is so hard to fully cover up a tattoo. I have a tattoo here that you may not be able to see it that well, but there is a tattoo under there and I can see it. Maybe not many people can see it, um, but if I point it out, I'm sure you'll be able to see it under the black. So even though people cover things up with black, like you will still see the line work because it is like scarred into your skin. And until you get rid of it, it's theoretically gonna always be there. So definitely recommend getting tattoo removal. Um, if you guys have any questions as far as like the process, how long it takes. I've been doing this for years now, but I also got pregnant and was breastfeeding. So I did have like a couple years off in between getting all of this done. So it has taken me a little bit longer than I wanted, but I'm still working towards it. And that's what really matters to me is, you know, just finishing what I started seeing the end result, being satisfied, and so far I am, yeah, I mean, I'm just satisfied already, <laughs> but I am going to definitely be looking forward to like, just like not seeing the tattoo at all. And it's just gonna feel like a relief, you know, like just relief literally off my chest. So yeah, that'll be great. And, yeah, so I just wanted to share with you guys what that was like for me, um, what you might experience um, if you get tattoo removal. And like I said, if you guys have any questions or if you want to leave comments, let me know what you thought. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe and I will be seeing you later. Thank you. Bye.